What's going on? So I talked about the ban list of when it came out, but I didn't really talk about the ban list itself. And what I mean by that is I didn't really give my thoughts or what the, I think it means of what's going to happen or what's going to go down. So I'm going to tell you what's up right now. First off, nothing really changed that's a big deal, okay? You can't top deck Snatch Steel, as M. Cole 40 said, which is like, okay, Snatch Steel is kind of like a test run anyways. It shouldn't have probably came back in the first place. Um... Also, Necros and Quil Clifford's, Clifford's, whatever you want to call them, they're pretty much still great. Like, nothing was really taken where it really matters for them. As of this point, they are still powerful, and it doesn't really matter for any other deck to try to compete with them because it's just not going to happen. Hieratix can maybe do some more OTKs again. There's three seals for some reason. When it goes to three, everybody also picks it up more, so you also see it more often. It's as soon as it goes to two, people are like, Woo! and they don't want to play it as often. But now that it's at three, people will also pick it up more, and also now it gives the people who already were playing and are skilled with it the searchability. So that third seal, there you go. Goey was at three, so is Lone Fire Blossom. Uh, Lone Fire Blossom, everybody thinks plants are gonna be a thing now, and I'm not saying they're not, but I just, along with Six Sams, okay, I saw Six Sams, it, these decks that people, even when they get support, unless if it's like completely OP, it's not really gonna make a difference. Lone Fire Blossom to 3 is helpful, like, it, it's got its uses, it's not a bad card, that's cool, it'll make some decks better, it's not gonna make anything meta, to my knowledge. And 6 Sams with, uh, it's got a lot of searchers, I mean, 3 inch smoke signals, dojos, asceticism, and 3, now Rhoda's at 3. It's, it's got a lot of searchers, but searchers only go so far, I mean, so many searchers, so many searchers. But, it's, that, even with, uh, Sheehan's, uh, Legendary Six Samurai Shien at two, it, it just doesn't matter. Um, it just, it, I mean, it matters, but like, in this state of the game, two of Shien's are not gonna matter or do anything. It will make Six Sam's a little bit better of what they currently are, but they're not currently much of anything, so it doesn't really matter. The only way Six Sam's would be somewhat playable, I mean somewhat, is if Gateway came back, and I don't even think now, with where our meta's at, and some of the top decks that are out, and other decks that are have come out since Six Sam's, I don't think, or since Gateway's been banned anyways, I don't think Gateway coming back would even make that big of an impact. Um, would it make Six Samurai's a lot better? Hell yeah, but it won't, I just don't think Six Sam's have the impact that they did before, can they have quick OTKs? Yes, definitely. They can do that sometimes, but just comparatively to the decks that have come out since Six Sam's uh, Gateway has been banned, I just just stop getting on the Six Sam wagon. If you want to play it because you enjoy the deck, that's a whole other thing, but I'm just saying don't expect it to be winning the uh, the YCSs anytime soon. Hey, but if you do it, t power to you. I mean, hey, was his face run with a while back, one with X-Sabers at like 8th place um, yeah, with no side deck, so... If he can do that with X-Savers, maybe you can with Six Sams, and if you can, by all means, I want to see that deck profile! The ban list doesn't change a whole much of a lot, like, it doesn't really, like, sometimes there's ban lists that's like, wow, the game's gonna be changed, it's gonna be different, it's gonna be great, but that is not how this is. It's more of a, a bit of a slowdown, with a hint of, I'm still gonna be fucking up your shit if you're playing the meta. Another thing that people were getting on the hype train is Fire Fist. Fire Fist is a great deck, it is. But kind of like Six Amps and everything else, it was great for its time when it came out. You can give Fire Fist even more, I feel like, even more support unless you give them a completely broken card. But even with all the searching they have and the support that has come out for it and everything else, it's just not the greatest deck anymore. Is it a bad deck? By all, hell, hell no. Hell no, it is not a bad deck. Is it going to be what people want it to be like it was when it came out. No, it's never going to have that hype of like $60 bears and shit again. Well, obviously not because there's reprints, but you know what I mean? Like it's not so sought after in like the top of the top because if it was still like the best of the best decks, even the easily obtainable cards would be a little bit more expensive. So it's not going to go back there. People might, you might see it topping, but it's not, I don't think it's going to win anything. But once again, that's just my opinion, and if you want to play it, by all means, go jump on that wagon. Now, with this ban list I also saw is, uh, we know Ring of Destruction, Crush Card Virus, but the thing is, I don't think Crush Card Virus is new errata. I don't think it makes it that good of a card. Is it a good card? Yeah, but a lot of cards don't really care about it. But don't get me wrong, great card still. If your deck can play it, play it. I'm not saying it's a bad card, so don't be like, wow, you're a bad player, you think it's a bad card. No, I don't think it's a bad card, I'm just saying, I'm not, I don't think it's great. 
Uh, Ring of Destruction is back, but you know, whatever. But what I think with this band list, since it slowed down just a little bit, I mean, a teeny weeny bit, I'm not saying non-competitive or non-meta decks can't, um, w I mean, can win so much easier now or anything, but I was testing online, and I know, testing online by all means, like, whoa, David, don't be doing that, because that's not the same as a, a tournament, which I know. Something that I have been noticing, and I wonder if people are going to catch on to more, is rank 4 tool de um, toolbox decks are not bad. And with the ban list slowing down a little bit, I wonder if you might be able to see people play just generic, cheap, rank 4, I mean, because uh, people are getting fed up with the meta and wanting to spend the money, as of like, my previous video, and I see people comment all the time, they're like, oh, I'd rather, M. Cole 40 even said he, now that Bryonic is going down in price and set 2, that he might pick them up because he, not even he wanted to get them. Which, yeah, that, they're still relatively expensive cards, but he's a player that doesn't really mind spending much money. But I'm saying, in the general consensus that you want to spend le less money, there's rank 4 toolbox decks, I feel like, are a lot more viable now. I was playing Go 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 Goals, which is zombies mixed with Go Go Goes, because it works out just perfect. And I've got to tell you, I was, I'm running like 11 traps, and I am effing shit up. And I'm I'm going against Necros uh, a couple times now on Dual Network. And because I've been using Dual Network more because my Death Pro fucked up. But it's, uh, I think it's something that people should start to look into and take more seriously, and more people should pick up to take to tournaments because. Having the or the rank fours that we have that are generic, and some of the rank uh, rank fours that take three monsters to make, um, that people just ignore because it's like that's a waste of whatever. But when you can go go goes get three monsters on the field like you would two a lot, there are some things you can do. And pe I people were I was doing well, and I was very surprised because I haven't played go go goes in a long time because I thought they were too slow. No. Anyways. I was just stating that I feel like it might be a good time to maybe look into budget decks that are rank 4 toolbox. And what I mean rank 4 toolbox, if for some reason you don't know, is a decks that can just make rank 4s out the wazoo. And can have somewhat of a searchability and somewhat have a synergy with each other. So like my, my hunters have a very good synergy and if you play uh, Kage, to Tagi with, Kage to Kage with it, you can play BLS too to give it a little bit of a chaos power. And BLS is BLS. It's always going to be a, an alright card. So anyways guys, that's my opinion or matters on the ban list there's not like i said there's not much more to really say about it there's not much more to really be worried about it's still going to be kind of pretty much how it is with maybe a little bit of changes but not much so anyways that's all for me guys i'll see you later peace